So I've got Joe Norris from Get Your Tips Out who provides daily football tips. And today's video is about BTTS, also known as both teams to score in the game. Um, Joe, let us know how you choose your tips and predictions for this type of bet. Yeah, so for this type of bet, um, I'm, I'm without a doubt looking at recent form. Um, how has this team been performing? Um, obviously, for this type of bet, you want to avoid a team that's been struggling to score in recent games. Um, and it, it th th this is one of my favourite bets, to be honest. I prefer backing both teams to score than I do backing the team to win or lose or draw, obviously. Um you know, if you can put these in a combination uh, of sort of three or four teams, both teams to score at uh, you can get some decent value. Yeah, for sure. I mean, it's got to be a game where, like, both teams are physically looking to go and win the game. There's sometimes these, like, some of the lower, like, lower teams in the division sometimes sit back and then they're not kind of the games I'm looking for. But if, if both teams, especially if both teams have got a high pressing kind of line, and they've both got decent strikers, especially if one or two might be missing, let's say, key injuries to the defence or goalkeeper or something like that. It's definitely yeah. that, that definitely influences myself. Is there any, do you ever look at the, the Premier League more than, let's say, the Championship or League One, League Two? Like, Where do you look for your both teams to score predictions? Is there any specific market you're looking for? Champions League, maybe, or even La Liga, something like that? Uh, so for me, I, I it's each... Uh like preference really like like with any bet i feel like you should be only betting on what you know um so yeah. for me i tend to target the championship for this type of bet um but like you've mentioned cup games i find can be really good so sort of champions league uh, normally throws up quite a lot of goals europa league's another good one um but yeah whatever you're backing you need to do your research um so you know you know exactly what you're betting on um so I sort of I, I tend not to go to the lower leagues too much. Um, I try and stick with the championship uh, mainly, uh, but yeah, I do like doing it in cup games too. Yeah, I mean some of the cup games, like you said, I en I enjoy doing it in them because sometimes the Premier League teams the last thing they want is a replay or extra yeah. time, so they're going yeah. to win that game. So by, when that starts to happen, the game opens up because they're physically always going for the win. Even even if it's two Premier League sides. They're both just going for the win because the last thing they want is kind of stacking up the fixture list. Yeah, exactly. Um, so I find they tend to work pretty well as well. Yeah. Also, you know, uh, look at conditions as well. Um, I know it's quite hard if you're sort of placing the bet. Um, obviously, with football, you you want to place your bets as early as possible because you can get more value at the start of the week than you can sort of on a Saturday morning. Um, yeah. But the weather can be a big thing for goals. You know, if it's, if it's coming down with rain... Um, there's a good chance there's going to be more opportunities in that game to score. You could have goalkeeper errors. Um, so I think the conditions are quite a big thing to look at as well. Yeah, for sure. So if anyone's looking to place football bets on a daily basis, Joel provides um, his daily tips. There's a link in the description for both teams to score, also known on the football, on the football bets as being BTTS. So check out the link in the description and best of luck for any both teams to score bets.